Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we were discussing about the geometric standards of taxiway, in which we had just started with the turning radius. Okay. So, what do you mean by turning radius? Whenever there is a change in the direction of taxiway, a horizontal curve is to be provided. Of course, it is necessary to design the curve in such a way that the aircraft can negotiate it without reducing the speed. Okay. Circular curve is more suitable in such cases, and the radius of the horizontal curve is obtained by this particular formula, which is r is equal to v square upon 125 f, where v is the speed of the aircraft in kilometer per hour, and f is the coefficient of friction, which is usually taken as 0.13. Okay, then first of all, what is a supersonic aircraft? Okay. A supersonic aircraft is an aircraft which is able to fly faster than the speed of sound. Okay, and a subsonic aircraft is an aircraft with a maximum speed less than the speed of sound. Okay, so for airports serving large subsonic planes, the minimum value of radius of curvature is taken as 120 meter, irrespective of the speed. For supersonic planes, okay, the minimum value of radius of curvature is taken as 180 meter. So this value is you are supposed to remember. Okay. According to Horan's equation, the radius of curve is also given by this following equation, which is r is equal to 0.388 w square divided by 0.5 t minus s, where r is radius of center line of taxiway in meter. Okay. W is the wheel base of aircraft in meter. Wheel base is the distance from the front wheel to the rear wheel. Okay. T is the width of the taxiway pavement in meter, which is assumed as 22.5 meter. S is the distance between the point of midway of main gears and the edge of the taxiway pavement. Okay. Now, next topic is related to exit taxiway particularly. Now, what do you mean by an exit taxiway? Function is to minimize the runway occupancy by the landing aircraft. Its location depends upon the following factors. So that taxiway. Which is going to make an exit for the aircraft from the runway, that is called the exit taxiway. Now, its location its location depends upon the following factors: air traffic control, rapidity, and manner in which the air traffic control can process the arrivals. Okay, the manner in which the runway could be cleared off. Okay, that traffic could be controlled. In so so according to that, the location of the exit taxiway will depend. Then exit speed. The maximum speed with which the aircraft can turn and enter the exit way is governed by the type of aircraft. The value of exit speed will decide the location of exit taxiway. Okay, so exit speed will depend upon type of the aircraft, and that exit speed will decide the location of the exit taxiway. Then location of runway. Location of runways relative to the terminal area. Okay, so it, the location of the Your taxiway location will depend upon the location of your runway because it is going to intersect, join the runway. Okay, so location of that runway will depend upon the terminal area. Okay, the number of exit, the number of exit taxiway to be provided uh, provided will decide their location. If only two exit taxiway are to be provided, they will obviously be provided at the ends of the runway. Okay, while leaving and taking off, so at the ends of the runway. If more than two, then they will be provided along the length of the runway. So this is where the location of taxiway depends. Then pilot variability: a certain amount of variability is bound to occur, especially with respect to the braking force applied on the runway. Okay, so it's not necessary that as decided at a particular distance the aircraft will stop. It depends upon the pilot. Also, it depends upon the braking force at particular at that particular time. So depending upon that. The taxiway location will depend. Okay, then topographical features: high altitude, deep valley, obstructions in approach. So these factors will affect the location of that taxiway. Then types of aircraft: since landing speed and distance required to reduce the speed to exit speed level will vary with the aircraft. So that is why, along with the aircraft, the type along with the type of aircraft, the location of the taxiway will. Change since the landing speed, the distance, the exit speed of that particular aircraft will vary from one aircraft to other aircraft. It will depend upon the type of aircraft. Then weather condition: time required by the aircraft to, uh, to slow down to the exit speed is influenced by factors like wind, temperature, etc. 
okay so that we know that how wind and temperature is going to affect the speed of the aircraft while it is landing so depending upon that the length of uh, the uh, location of the taxiway will depend then when you are talking about design of exit taxiway there are various factors to be considered there are various formulas which are to be remembered okay so following factors govern the design of the exit taxiway the most significant factor affecting the turning radius is the exit speed of the aircraft okay so whenever you are de deciding this radius the turning radius that will depend upon the speed specifically in exit taxiway it is the exit speed of the aircraft slightly widen entrance of 30 meter gradually tapering to the normal width of taxiway is preferred the wider entrance gives pilot more latitude in using the exit taxiway okay so while designing the taxiway a slightly wider entrance is given first and then a normal taxiway starts a turning radius or a turning curve is usually a compound curve you will see here two radiuses are there r1 and r2 okay next angle of turn of 30 degree to 45 degree can be negotiated in a satisfactory manner the smaller angle are preferable because length of the curved path is reduced okay so if smaller angles are given the length of the curve okay so that the curve will not be much sharp the length of the curve would be reduced and that is why it could easily the aircraft could easily move for smooth and comfortable turn the turning radius should be obtained from the following equation r is equal to v square upon 125 f the turning radius formula we have already uh, seen previously it is necessary to provide a compound curve for high turn off speeds of 65 to 95 km per hour it minimizes the tire wear on the nose gear and it is relatively easy easy to establish it in the field hence r2 is greater than r1 so you can see here it is a compound curve with radius r2 and r1 where r2 is greater than r1 and it is it becomes easy for the aircraft to move in such a curve now aircraft approximates pilot but still compound curve is provided as it is relatively easy to establish in field and its shape is similar to spiral okay so it becomes easy to even uh, uh, point it in or establish it on the air field okay so now in the next lecture we'll discuss about various formulas which are required while designing the exit taxiway and we'll also go through the numerical of exit taxiway okay thank you so much